My name is Paul Cager. I work for Woodsole Oceanographic Institution and I am a fish ecologist. I'm here on board the Aleutia as part of this Twilight Zone cruise to take some photographs of the creatures we're collecting in our net toes. So we're out in the Twilight Zone trying to study one of the least known regions of the planet. Not much is known about the Twilight Zone so we're using multiple techniques to try and figure out as much as we can about what's going on in this vast area. We focus on trying to capture these animals in as good a light as possible and trying to make these small, very small and delicate animals come to life. Each day we'll do several net deployments and as soon as those nets come back in, bring them back into the lab and quickly pick out what we want to photograph. I have a shipboard photography set up based in the aquarium lab and I will be putting animals and fishes and invertebrates on trays in water and using macro lighting and macro lenses and getting some really close up nice imagery of these animals. This is a bristlemouth, be the most abundant vertebrate on this planet. In the twilight zone, bioluminescence is a really important characteristic. For instance, some fishes use it to attract prey. Some angler fishes and, and viper fishes have little bioluminescent lures. They'll dangle in front of themselves to attract prey. Some fishes in the twilight zone use bioluminescence to hide themselves from predators. These light emitting organs underneath their belly, when looked from below, can um, hide their silhouette um, from the downwelling light. I'm a fish ecologist and I'm really interested in fish diversity, the taxonomy, how the fishes interact with the rest of the ecosystems. On the other hand, I'm also interested in sharing as much as we can with the wider public, getting the world involved and engaged in, in what's out there in the Twilight Zone. And by taking great images of this, we can share this and, and spread that story, which is a really important story.